To my autism moms, here is something that you may or may not be conflicted with. And I'm talking as a mom with a highly functioning autistic son. And that is the conflict of whether your son or your child is quote unquote autistic enough to qualify as autistic. And that's something that I battled with for a very long time because I said, hey, look, my child is not rain man autistic or like when I worked in a group home and that was like severe, like it was, it was very extreme, you know, form of autism. Or even looking at some of the friends I have here on social media whose children are nonverbal or have other um, or other things that I perhaps don't um, experience with my child. However, I'm going to say this misconception, like high functioning autism is not easy autism, you know, and a lot of times I used to try to downplay my son's autism. But then, then again, at the end of the day, I have to realize that autistic, autistic is autistic is autistic is autistic, no matter whether it's low functioning or high functioning. Yes, that's why it's called a spectrum because the child can fall on any part of it. But I have to realize that even as a mom of a child with high functioning autism, there are still daily challenges, okay? Don't think that it's easy just because he knows how to do things for himself or he's smart. It's still an everyday challenge. And even going further, and going further, thinking about grief, and this is one of the stages that I talk, talk about when talking about the stages of accepting and our feelings of grief. Because even though my son is considered high functioning, and like I said, it doesn't negate the fact that we don't have daily challenges. And, you know, I still have to think like, okay, what's going to happen when he goes to a new school and the kids don't know and how are they going to engage with him? Is he going to be able to carry out conversations? Will he ever get into a relationship? You know, so these are still things that I still have to think about, you know, when it comes to him and dealing with high functioning autism. So it's all the same. And it's not always easy and unchallenging because it really is challenging. And my son does qualify as an autistic child. Like I took my children to the park over the weekend and like my 11 year old, he was able to go out and do his own thing, play in the basketball court. But my son, he's nine and then I have the other that's two. But it's like I had to keep an eye on him, my nine year old, just as much as I had to keep my eye on my two year old because my nine year old, he has an unconventional way of um, playing. And I noticed like something he was doing. And fortunately, the kids that were there at the park, they were nice about it. And it even came to the point where when my son went to the side, I said, hey, have y'all ever heard of autism? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, you know, that's my son that explains the behavior. So thank you for not teasing him. And they were really nice about it. They were like, okay, it's no problem, no problem. You know, and they were more engaging with him. But these are things that I have to go through. Or like when people's talking to him and I have to answer for him, so I just say that to say, you know, if you are a mom of a highly functioning autistic child, don't think of yourself as any less of an autistic mom just because of, you know, maybe the severity of other moms you see around you. You know, it's, it's all the same. We're all in the same category. We all have daily challenges, struggles, um, and have to give up a lot more of our lives to deal with our child. So don't ever, ever, ever feel bad or think that, you know, you're, you're less than or that your child is not because at the end of the day, it's all the same thing.